It's not every day that a Vietnamese American makes headlines in the college football scene. But Matthew Sky is not just any other guy. You see, Matthew Sky is the son of film industry superstar Matthew Maher. His mother also happens to be Venus Sky. Side note, whatever. Nice. Matthew Sky's freshman year at Rice was an excellent introduction to the college football seat. The Rice Owls ended up having a really spectacular season, finishing 11-3 and and just barely missing the college football playoffs. And in Sky's first season, he saw 67 tackles, 10 TFLs, one sack, and three interceptions. A really solid resume for a freshman. But let's be real about one thing, gentlemen. Matthew Sky's mother is Venus Sky, okay? And if there's one thing that Matthew Sky's mother taught him, it's that the only way to live life is to get passed around like a blunt. And that is why, at the end of our freshman year, we are entering the transfer portal. Now, the programs most interested in us are Rice, Minnesota, BYU, Tulsa, Virginia, and Rutgers, but the beauty of being a corner is even if you're the backup, you're still gonna get starter reps. You need two corners on the field at all times, no matter what formation you're in, for the most part, okay? If, if you're running field goal block, maybe not, I don't know. Now, there are some incredible programs that we could go to and play at right now. We're in the depth chart for LSU, Oregon, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Wisconsin, Oklahoma State, Virginia Tech. There's just one problem. You know what the average SAT score is at Oklahoma? 1220, 1220. You know what the average SAT score is at Oklahoma State? 1124. You think a prestigious Asian like Matthew Sky is going to tarnish the good Sky name by going to a mediocre academic school like Oklahoma State? You think he's going to be a doctor after going to Oklahoma State? And guess what's even worse? Harvard isn't even in the game. And that's when Matthew Sky stumbled upon the Tulane Green wave. Now, granted, only 4% of students at Tulane are Asian, but let's not forget Matthew Sky is Asian. 65% of students at Tulane are white, 4% are Asian, and just in case we want to find a little Latina baddie, 11% are Hispanic. Not to mention the Tulane Green Wave's average SAT score is 1440. I think I was going to go from Rice to Oklahoma State. What are you smoking? I'm signing with the Tulane Green Wave. Also, if I'm being very serious, I have always wanted to play for Tulane. Tulane is so good in Dynasty. I consistently see Tulane in the college football playoffs hands off, like not playing for the team or rebuilding them. They always make it. Now, as I'm saying that, they were six and seven last season. So obviously that's, we want to improve upon that. Let's pop into this depth chart, see what Tulane looks like right now and see what this sophomore season for Matthew Sky is going to look like. Looks like this won't be as easy as it was at Rice though. I did not have a single position battle at Rice. We'll be fighting for the CB2 spot. Porsche coffee mug, by the way. I'm a prestigious Asian who goes to Rice. So what do you fuck, what do you want from me? Who goes to Tulane now? I have literally never done a, a corner drill. Although this isn't really a corner drill. You do this drill all the time. It is probably one of the easiest in the game. You literally just go bonk every single circle and call it a day. All right, we win the first drill. Now it's chasing tech. I was literally just about to say this drill is low-key hard sometimes. I don't know why, but sometimes it's just hard to make the tackle. Also looks like Tulane has a... Lock in. Lock in, Matt. This is for CB2. I've got negative points. This is for... Okay, what? That's not on me, right? How did he just teleport through me? There we go. Also, I saw your guys' comments on the first video. Apparently, the cut stick is a much better way to get fumbles as a corner. I was rocking hit sticks all last time, just like that. Although that is a fumble. I don't know, I was shocked last episode that I wasn't able to cough up a single fumble. I thought for sure I was getting some big time hits on these backs. But I was told to try out cut sticks. I think I might try that out this year. Obviously, you know, when you're a corner, you're undersized, running backs are a lot stronger than you. So the cut stick is the safer tackle. I'm not a six foot five middle linebacker anymore. Tulane's got a good running back though. That's good to know. The gap drill. Just gotta dodge, dodge the balls and rock your QB. Fun fact, when I beta tested this game for EA, this drill was completely broken. It didn't work at all. And I did fail that last drill, but the battle was won. Matthew Sky is CB2 at Tulane. Beautiful.
Sorry, Shaheem. I'm just built like that, bro. All right, what's this two-lane schedule looking like? Northwestern. It's actually incredibly... Oh my God, it's incredibly easy. And we play Rice. And we play Rice. And then we've got Ole Miss. So Ole Miss is going to be a really difficult test. Northwestern could be halfway decent too. All right, weekly agenda. We've got six energy. I think we definitely got to study up. Probably should study a little bit more. Then we should study again and then study one more time. Sounds like a perfect week for Matthew Scott. It is our sophomore year, so I think it's about time that a little bit of stubble came in. Nothing crazy, just a little just a little something. Now, as far as upgrades, we're in 80 overall zone corner right now. Quickness, I think, needs to be my next upgrade. Because, dude, we can get up to 99 speed, 99 excel, I'm pretty sure. That's going to change the game on everything, dude. We'll be able to fly around the field. Once we have that, everything else will come easier. So I think right now we just need to focus on stacking skill points and getting our speed up. The Wildcats are a 78 overall. So is the two lane green wave, but I haven't even looked at this roster. Our best player is our halfback, Makai Hughes. Looks like defense is solid though. We got a really good safety. Lou Tillery is the corner CB1. He's across from me. Got a solid tight end. Our quarterback, Ty Thompson. 80 speed, 84 excel. He looks good. He's a senior. Honestly, this team just looks solid, especially for the American Conference. This, this team's going to be great. All right, season opener at home against Northwestern. I know we have really cool jerseys, which I'm also pretty excited about. Yeah, these go crazy, bro. The powder blue two lanes are so sick. The two lane green wave season opener against Northwestern. All right. So I've found that in zone coverage, it's easier to bait out like an interception. But in man coverage, but in man coverage, I don't make as many mistakes. Also, I don't even know what zone I'm supposed to be in here. We do start the game out with a tackle, though, so that's nice. Second and 16, I'm in a blue over here, so I've got the deep zone. I don't think they'd run this football, right? Gotta imagine they're passing this. They throw into 16. He breaks a tackle, and he's gonna meet me. Second and eight for Northwestern. That is another handoff, and I am... Just, all right, it's my first game. It's my first game with this team, all right? Just give me a sec. Okay, that's another handoff. Let's go man. Let's go man coverage and see if we can bait this out to 16. Come on, Northwestern. You know you want to throw to him. You know you want to throw to him. They did. Oh, they threw to him, but we got there too quick. Fourth and 11. I don't think I would have jumped that, though. I low-key think I got torched right there. All right, it's man coverage. This has got to be a run. I'm just blitzing. Fuck him. I'm going for it. I'm going for it! Oh no. It's low key right in the zone that I'm supposed to be. First and 10. What are you doing, North Northwestern? Ooh, oh! Do I get a tackle assist for that? I do not. Damn it. Crazy that coach would say I wasn't helpful there. Basically an all out blitz here. I'm like one of the only guys in zone coverage. And they hand it off. Oh my God, what a time to run that. All right, there's a handoff Northwestern. He's gonna cut it right into my zone. Nice work. Tampa two. Oh, it's wide receiver mid screen. It's mid screen. Get off the block, Maher. Okay, we take that though. That's fourth and eight. We take that. Dude, if I can recognize that a little bit sooner, I can pick six that. Third and 24. Let's leave this man open. It's gotta be a streak. They need so many yards. Yes. Yes. Where are you throwing that football? Hey, you know what though? You know what though? Hail Mary. What a golden opportunity. Oh! No! I'm not gonna lie. I intentionally made my defense play that poorly so that I could get the interception and I still didn't get it. All right, I'm learning though. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Here we go. Inside blitz. We're in man coverage. Let's just make the read. It's a handoff. Oh, it's an RPO. Second and four, Northwestern's really not running the football like they were before. Not at all. Oh, it's a screen. 38's all over it. Great defense. He's in five wide. There's a little smoke screen. Oh, I wish he had thrown it to my guy. Oh, I would have housed that bitch. I gotta be a little softer here in coverage. Fourth and four. Gigantic play for Northwestern. And you know what? This is kind of a close game. Gotta make a big defensive stop. Cover one hole. This is a handoff. He's going to the edge and he's meeting Matthew Sky. Come on. Damn, I'm sick of getting assisted tackles though. I wanna do it all by myself. All right, silver shoot pinch, third and five. Let's just box him up. Come on, this is our best coverage ever. Best coverage ever. No! 
Throw to me! Throw to me! This is a handoff. It's not a handoff. Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh my God! What an opportunity! What an opportunity! I was so close! I gotta see this again. I thought I baited this perfectly. So I see the corner out, I peel out to it. Oh! I'm so close. Oh, they're going for two. There's gotta be a run. Gotta be a run. Oh, they don't have it. Northwestern flushed out. Oh, wait, they're not in the end zone? Oh my God, they're not in the end zone. I thought he scored on that. I thought he scored on that. He did not. Come on. Okay. Okay. Third and goal. Yo, for like the first time in my career, I'm getting subbed out. So we must have been in like a heavy goal line set. It worked because we forced them to a field goal. Yo, we're in safety territory here. No. Oh my God, I thought he caught that. Tip drill, tip drill. 16 to 14, are they running the football now? Yup. Oh, I missed him. Oh, shit. No, it's a pass. But I've got everything over here, and that's a great stop. We're gonna get the ball back. I need offense to score though. Offense hasn't scored since the first quarter. Oh, it's another screen pad. Northwestern's got a lot of screens in that playbook. Just gonna go with another blitz here. Oh! I have been so unbelievably close. I gotta upgrade quickness, dude. I am like a quarter step away from two interceptions, but I've given up touchdowns because of it. So I'm trying to bait this out, obviously. He goes for the streak, we beeline for it. Look how close this is. I think my, my ratings are just a little too low right now to where I don't animate on that because I feel like I should have just jumped and caught this. Dog. All right, I get it. Like, I get that I'm an Asian guy, right? But look at how fucking shut my eyes are. No wonder I couldn't catch it. I can't see the damn ball. Ooh, QB keeper. Fumble! Oh. oh my God, I've been so close to so much today. All right, second and nine. I'm shocked. I feel like they'd still be running the football. Honestly, I thought that was a streak. Once he got behind me, I thought it was a streak. Third and nine, looks like they're going for something similar. Oh yes, sir, not this time! Not this time, Matthew Sky is gonna get the interception, let's go! Damn, I had two huge opportunities earlier in this game, but finally, I come up with that INT we wanted. Let's go, boys! Tulane, 31 to 29, season opener. A forced fumble, an interception. I had a lot of tackles, but only one solo. I'm excited to see how many tackles I did have. Player of the game is Makai Hughes, 91 rushing yards and two touchdowns. He's our best player for a reason, right? Let me see defensively though what my stats are looking like. Damn, Matthew Sky. One solo tackle, nine assisted, so 10 total tackles, a TFL, an interception, a forced fumble, and a pass deflected. That's an awesome stat line. I'm really excited about that. I'm still looking to find the end zone and I am still looking to recover a fumble. Those are the two big milestones I haven't done yet. But what a great season opener. That's an awesome game against Northwestern. Brian Cruz wants four tackles and let's win the game. Brian, I got a uh, 10 last week, buddy. Is this a CB1 position battle already? CB1 battle here. Dude, the cut stick, you can really flip. You can really flip some dudes with the cut stick. Damn it, I hate when they do that. Oh my God, I got the tackle. <laughs> That's gotta be the ugliest way to get a tackle in this drill. It's gotta be. Ooh, the DB battle drill. It's actually kind of fun. Damn, I got cooked. I definitely want to get my speed up. I feel like if I get my speed up too, it'll be so easy to bait out passes, bro. If I'm crazy fast, I could make a guy look unbelievably open and then just fly onto the football. And just like that, gentlemen, Matthew Sky is CB1 at Tulane. I changed up the drip slightly. I went with shooter sleeves. Also, I'm bringing the back plate back. I don't know, dude, when I don't have the back plate on, it just looks like, it looks like I should have a tramp stamp, you know? Boner garage. I don't know, tattoos, by the way, should be a thing. It should 100, like, why can't I just put 
any tat, whatever. It's not bitching o'clock, it's interception o'clock. Let's hop into a new game. And after a win against South Alabama and Duke, it was time for Ole Miss. I'm gonna be honest, I thought Ole Miss was gonna be undefeated at this point. They were ranked at the start of the season. They're really struggling right now. They're one and two, but that doesn't stop the fact that they're an 86 overall program. So obviously they are gonna be tough. Really excited for this game though. We're gonna go up against some really good wide receivers. A really talented team. And I honestly, I wanna take Tulane to the college football playoffs. This will be a good test if that's actually possible or if we're about to get blown out. Damn, the all white looks clean. Uh oh, I gotta, I'm CB1 now. I guard star wide receivers now. And I guess that's an assistant tackle, but damn, I could have hit him so much harder. Is that Trey Harris? I think that's Trey Harris. Oh my God, look at the abilities on him. Oh my God, he's loaded. That honestly scares me. This one's a handoff to the running back. And hey, I think, did they give me the assists? Probably not. They're ninjas. Hey, interception Tulane. Wait a minute, let's stay undefeated. Let's beat Ole Miss. All right, we get a field goal out of it. That's a good start to the ball game. I can't really tell what's going on here. It's a handoff to the running back. What? First and 10. Another handoff here. I'm so glad I came up. I was actually needed. Damn. They're getting way too many yards on these runs though. Way too many. All right, first and 10, we got a light blue. We can bait this out. Be ready for the screen. Ole Miss loves their screen passes. Okay, it's a handoff again. Good defense. Tampa 2 is really nice against Ole Miss because they run a lot of screens and they hand that ball off a lot. So I can just sit up, be ready. There's a screen. Great tackle, third and six. I'm staying in Tampa 2. This looks like a handoff, third and six. Okay, throws over the middle. Good defense. Good defense. Fourth and two, we're gonna force Ole Miss to a field goal. I'm surprised they're not going for this. For two yards, I feel like you go for that. Oh my God, they did. They went for it, didn't get it. But we weren't able to score either, so we're back to square one. Oh, it's another screen. Damn it. Throw it on my side, you fraud. This is what Darrell Rivas felt like, huh? This is a handoff. It is. It's a handoff to the running back. I'm in there. Second and five, more man coverage. Oh, it's a screen. Hey, good work, 15. Come on, throw it to him. Third and seven, throw it to him. Test me! I dare you. Shit! They won't test me! Fourth and one, do they go for this one? <gasps> they do! They do! Is this gonna be a run though? What are they gonna do here? Fourth and one. It is a handoff! Shit. If I had committed to, oh, if I had committed! Here we go. Oh no! Torched! Lou Tillery just got bombed on. Oh no. Uh-oh. This game's gonna get really difficult really fast. Oh, is this the screen? It is. Bagged. Completely and utterly bagged that. Great defense. Be a lot of routes here. Trying to bait one out and he throws in the middle. Dude, I actually feel like Darrell Rivas. They just won't throw the ball anywhere near me. I'm gonna sell out for the I'm gonna sell out for the run here. I feel like it's the only way we stop this. Oh my god, it's not. Where's he gonna throw? He's not gonna throw anywhere! Let's go! What's this play? Oh! No, you fuck! Oh my god! He finally threw my way! Oh! I need a speed upgrade. I'm so close! Honestly, dude, I got caught sleeping. I was so sick of not getting thrown at. All of a sudden, I get thrown at. I'm sleeping. I'm trying to, like, leave this open. I'll take the sack, though. I want to win the game. That's what I want. All right, light blue over here. We're in Tampa 2. This one is definitely a handoff and a nice little tackle. Okay, another screen pass. It's got options on both sides. That's going nowhere. That's a punt. I need a touchdown too, Lane. Another field goal. Points are points though, right? QB keeper. QB keeper! I'm so glad I got off that block. That could have gotten bad. Yeah, this, you know, Ole Miss is not, a, is not a fun team to play against right now. I'm really struggling here. Come on, dude. 
You would rather bonk it off your own lineman's head than just throw a free interception to me? It's crazy. Uh, this ball game is over. We're gonna take a loss here to Ole Miss. We do know what's handoffs though, so I can try and get some TFLs. 16 to 28, that was a game to forget, honestly. Um, they virtually didn't throw the ball my way at all until I started baiting so hard that he had no choice but to throw it at me. Just part of being a corner sometimes. It's gonna be frustrating games like that. Dude, look at how prepared I am for this quiz unbelievably prepared. And after a win against UAB, a close win against USF, and breezing past Temple, it was time for a very big game. My former team, the Rice Owls. Now Rice is struggling without me, I'm not gonna lie. They're four and three right now, one and two in the American. We're undefeated in the American, and our only loss, of course, that Ole Miss game. And finally, finally, I've got 11 skill points. Not gonna lie, as a corner, it's really hard to get skill points. Corner is probably the hardest. Even with middle linebacker, it was a lot easier to be involved in every play. As corner, there's a lot of times you just can't do anything. But finally, I've got enough skill points for a quickness upgrade. We're at 88 speed, 88 excel, and these 11 skill points, they take us to 89 and 91. It's really not a big upgrade. The thing with these quickness upgrades is that last upgrade is a massive monumental jump, but until then, they're really not that big. So. We do get a minor upgrade. I'm happy to have it. But gosh, we're going to need a lot of skill points until we're 99 speed. It's going to be tough. What would certainly help is a massive game that gets us massive XP. Taking on my former team here, the Rice Owls. We're on the road once again. I'm going to rock the green and white away uniforms. Let's have a great game against Rice. Ole Miss was a frustrating one. Let's see if I can turn that around. Dude, look at these Rice Owls fans. Do you think these fans are diehard enough to know that Matthew Sky transferred out? Or do you think Rice Owl fans are casuals? I feel like they would know, dude. I feel like everyone on campus is talking about it. I mean, I piped half the girls. They're all talking about it. D new drip, new me, brother. New drip, new me. First and 10. Oh, a little handoff. Oh, you're mine! Take me out of the game, coach. Coach, just take me out of the fucking game. I don't want to be here, coach! I'm not going to make that mistake twice. Fuck, he's keeping it. Fuck! Oh, this is gonna be my best game because now I have the, I have the the fire of a thousand suns. I don't know what that fucking means. I was going for an Asian joke there, it didn't come out. Bait, bait, fucking huck that bitch. Where'd you throw it? I think he was throwing that my way. Second and ten. This is a weird. What are they going for here? Yeah, they're running it. This is just a weird play call. Third and twelve. They gotta pass this puppy. They gotta pass this puppy. All right, let's sit right here, nice and easy. Got three on my side. Get into our back pedal. Flip the hips. He's hucking it. He's hucking it deep. Oh, he didn't catch it. He's out of bounds. Oh my God, I thought he caught that. He really almost did. Dude, tell you what though, it's hard to track that ball. Gotta say, I like the back pedal though. Oh, what is this? What is this? Heat Seeker is so fucking stupid. It makes it so hard to tackle. Whatever. Whatever. This is another run play. And now I'm frozen. I can't move. I do not know where he just threw the football. Are we struggling? Absolutely. Is it going to be my best game? Yes! Yes, it is! Matthew Sky! Big INT! That was such a weird route combo. They had a hitch right underneath a post. That was so weird. Hey, it worked in our favor. We get seven off of it. Dude, I told you it was going to be my best game. Are we playing like shit a little bit? Yeah. I'm tracking. I don't know where he wanted to go with that. Third and one. I just don't think they're passing. Uh-oh. Oh, it might have worked. Oh, my God. It worked. Pick six. Need it. Need it. Need it. No. No. <laughs> Oh my god, against my former team! Two picks! Dude, this is so funny. I baited so aggressively on accident. I thought that was a run, and it worked. Dude, in the Ole Miss game, it felt like I could do no right. In this game against Rice, it feels like I can do no wrong. Other than my tackling. My tackling's been pretty dog shit today. But hey, look, I'm a corner, all right? I'm like prime time. I'm like Deion Sanders. No one expects me to tackle. That is definitely a handoff. He's down second and six. Cover three sky I'm having the most luck with, as far as baiting goes. Motion's one man over. Oh, shit. Oh, I baited too aggressively. I think that was just a, a standard double move. I don't know what it was, but damn. 
All right, I can certainly do wrong. We've established that I can do wrong. I've also figured out that on first and... It was an RPO. Second and three. That's a handoff. Uh, oh, am I in there? They counting that for me? Just remember to get in our little back pedal here. Oh, it's a handoff. Shit. That's a lot of yards. He snapped that ball way faster than I was ready for. I'm just gonna be honest. I, I can't even, I can't even pretend on that one. I was thinking about audibling to man and then I just kind of sat there as they scored on me. Okay, I am having the best game of my career, but also every single point of Rice's is 100% my fault. All right, 21 to 13, rocking two interceptions. I have not been good tackling, like at all. There's another RPO, looks like they do it. First, first down is pretty much an RPO for Rice. Dude, learning other teams like tendencies, playbooks makes this so much easier. Second and two, this has got to be a run. It's not! Oh my god, but it's a sack! Woo! Dude, that's literally so risky because if, if I don't get there, it's a touchdown. It is 100% a touchdown. Let's get in our drop here. Back pedal, flip those hips. Can't get anything off. Fourth and 15. Come on. First and 10. There's a handoff. They're going absolutely nowhere. Tulane has to pass. Come on, let's clamp up. Damn it. Another check down. They run too many posts. All right, I got a light blue on this side. It's kind of a weird, weird assignment here. Throws. Stop. Oh my God, they're going for it. Wait, this is like, this is a massive play. They're challenging this. They're saying he had possession. That looks like a touchdown to me. That absolutely looks like a touchdown. Yeah, they, they, they turned it over and now it's a two point conversion. It's gotta be handoff. Let's blow this shit up. Huge. Oh, it's not. It's a pass right into my zone. You know what? It's so funny. This is statistically my best game and it's, and it's, uh, Actually, my worst game. Does that make sense? Is everyone following? Oh my god, it's 21 to 21 against my former team! We can't let these fucking frauds beat us, bro. I won't live with myself if Rice beats us. I do not care if this is a pass. I'm sprinting at the quarterback. Oh my god, it's not. Oh! Stop it! Fuck! Oh, they're gonna give me tackle, tackle for loss? Fine! I will say that's where I got a cut stick. 100% that's where I got a cut stick. All right, third and eight. Zone coverage. Big stop inbound. Huck that bitch. Check down. Oh my god, they got that first. Yo, defense, you gotta help me out here, brothers. Just kidding, I'm responsible for every touchdown. This is a run. Yep. Good, second and six. Oh, it's another handoff. Okay, third and two, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Whoa, I'm supposed to follow him? Handoff. Oh, it's a fake! I'm fucked! I'm not fucked! A wee ball! That's a stop. That's a stop. Tulane doesn't score? Tulane doesn't score? DB blitz, but it's not a DB blitz for me. Hoping I can, uh, hoping I can, I can go at the running back on this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! I mean, I'm there. I'm there. Not entirely, but I'm there. Good lord, do we need a big play. It's 21 to 21. Our offense did not put up a touchdown that last drive. Oh, good pass. Damn. Now we're really in trouble. Am I going to sell this game against Rice? Not like this, man. Not like this. Okay, goes to the check down. We're saying bad zone coverage, but I'm in a, I'm in a deep blue. I feel like that's not actually my responsibility. Second and three. It's a handoff, right? No. Throws to my guy again, and he hits him again. Stop it. Now they're targeting me, bro. Now they know I'm a bum, and they're just targeting me. RPO. It's RPO. First down. No. No. Oh, my God. Wait, we got him at the one. We got to run commit the middle. Listen, if they pass it, they pass it. We got to get in there. First and goal. Dude, we just fucking ran commit middle, and he just walked in. Oh, my God. 28 to 21. We didn't score. Oh, what about a fumble right there, though? Second and six. Gotta be handoff. Uh, we're gonna lose the rice because of me. I don't know if I can mentally cope with this. 
Oh, oh, no, I thought he was checking that down to me. Wait a minute, do they punt this? It's a 56 yard field goal, I'm not sure that they can hit that. I don't know what happened, I think we lost that. It's literally completely my fault. But dude, I'm not gonna lie, like playing it textbook is not fun at all, cause they never throw at you. Braylon Walker, all of your points are from me sucking ass, brother. I had four solo tackles, six total, two TFLs, a sack, two interceptions, and that's all that matters. It was exciting to get two interceptions a game, but dude, I can't play like that in any important game. Like if we're going to the college football playoffs, if we're gonna have any success at a high level, I cannot play that shit. Dude, and this is what I mean. I got one skill point for that. I just had a sack, two interceptions, and six tackles, and I got one skill point for that. The American Football Championship. I hate to be negative, but this year has been really difficult. We have gotten some nice interceptions. That's been really fun, but damn. Regardless, we do have the American Championship here, and I'm on Tulane if I want to... If I want to go to the college football playoffs, I kind of got to go play for a contender. Taking on the Blazers here. I'm going to play my first ever game in the black uniforms. Not sure I'm the biggest fan of them, but we got to try it out. Hopefully, hopefully, we can play our best game of the year here. First and 10. First place in a light blue. That's a handoff to the running back. I got to get outside. I got to stay outside there. That's on me. Can we get a stop here? Oh, that's a handoff. Running back. Oh, I can't get off my block. That's a little block in the back though, ref. You got called that. First and 10. What's UAB got? They usually run the ball. First play of the game. Or not first play. First play, first down. Eww. Keep getting stuck. There's a handoff right there and I'm getting involved. I hate when they don't give me the tackle. That's got, like, you got to tell me that I'm part of that tackle, right? Motions are running back over. Checks it down to the running back. And we'll get four yards. Come on, I know Milliner's your best receiver. Take a shot. Come on. Come on, take a shot. Take a shot! Don't take a shot. Don't take a shot. Don't take a shot. Why'd you take a shot? This is a run, so I don't give a shit. Called it. Hey, you know, I'm in there. I'm getting involved. All right, well, now we got to redeem ourselves. Now we really got to redeem ourselves. I mean, what choice do we have? Oh, little well, jet touch pass going nowhere, third and nine. What's the play call here on third and nine? Ooh, oh, I wish. I wish that had gotten through. It's a good stop. Hey, two lanes scored. First and 10, probably a handoff. It's not. Oh my God, you're not testing me again? Wait, I gotta cut it across. I gotta cut it across. No, I don't. <gasps> Maybe I do. Maybe I do. I just want to pick six, let's go! Nice INT! You know, as frustrating as it's been sometimes, I think I'm getting an interception every game. Other than Ole Miss, Ole Miss sucked. That was just, that was a tough day. Second and 14, it's always good if we can force them into a pass scenario. Which I thought that was a pass scenario, I guess not. This one definitely is. Was that a corner route again out of Milliner? Let's see if I can bait this. It is. It's the exact same! Oh my God. I knew exactly what it was. That's so sad. Another handoff here. This one's coming my way. Am I gonna get a tackle for that? He ran into my back. First and 10, probably another handoff. I really do not see UAB passing on first down often. Yep. Oh, we're on that. We're on that. They're not gonna give me the tackle because they're fraudulent, but that's a good play. I'm gonna shade him hard inside. Oh. Okay, good defense, we'll take that, third and one. I feel like this has just gotta be a run. I gotta be ready for the run here. Yup. Yay! Great defense, they're gonna force a field goal. First and 10, is it the run? I'm gonna try and guess it. Oh, it's a screen pass. We're still there. Oh, it's the corner route, it's the corner route, it's the corner route. And he loves to throw it! Oh my God, he loves to throw it! Come on. Darn it. The, the pick six is not hard. Our pick six is not easy, but that's two interceptions against the Blazers. We are really picking up on their play calling and that is helping out so much. I'm going for three interceptions today. I gotta go for three interceptions today. Second and seven, what's the play? What's the play? What's the play? It's another fucking handoff. Good Lord. Nice tackle. Third and two out of this down and distance last time, they did run the football. So let's be ready for it. That's another run. Dude. Come on, I'm playing, I'm playing as a DB, guys. Let's pass the ball. He's gonna hand it off again. Jesus, dude. We gotta force them to third and long or they're gonna run the football every time. What was that? What? 
How do we have the ball? Wait, how do we have the ball? Fumble? How? Oh, it won't even let me replay it. Shit. That made no sense. All right, they're 100% running it. There's literally no point. Oh my God, there's a point. There's a point. This is the first time I've seen them pass on first down. Oh, because it's, it's two minute drill. Is he open? Oh, he is. Oh, he certainly is. Come on, take a shot. You know you want to take a shot. Second and 10. Oh, he wants to. Oh, it's a slip screen, never mind. <laughs> he does not want to take a shot. Third and 12. Yes, you do! It's good defense. You, you gotta be happy about good defense. Also, offense is putting up points, and I'm excited about that too. They're gonna run the football. Mm, there it is. Oh, fuck. That's a touchdown. How is it not? How did, dude, I, I'm not in my, in my blue. How did they not score that? Sometimes you're just bailed out. Sometimes you are just bailed out. Okay, this is a run though, so I'm gonna go and, and blow it up. Oh! Dude, why the fuck is dive so broken? That should 100% of the time be a tackle. It's so stupid. I guess I'll just run into him and tap A a million fucking times. That's how I gotta tackle. It's so lame. That's so fucking lame. Uh, this is a handoff. Maybe not, actually. It definitely is. Here we go. Tapping a bunch of times. Like, is it, is it such a crime to want to blow the running back up, huh? Is that such a crime? Oh, it's the corner route. It's the corner route. It's the corner route. No, we audible. Darn it. That was the corner route. That's a slip screen. Batted down third and five. They may be in a scenario where they have to pass this. And I think he'll take a shot on me. Take a shot on me. Take a shot on me. Take a shot on me! Three interceptions! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Dude, I've kind of got it down to a science now. Like, here we are at the end, at the end of a frustrating sophomore year. I think I really understand well how to bait out a throw or not. Oh, shit. I still am not good at getting off blocks, though. That's for sure. Third and nine. They got to throw this. That much is for sure. Can we bait out another? Can we do it one more time? A little backpedal, flip your hips late, and he might test you. And he might just fucking test you! What are you doing? No, 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 that's not an interception. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I had him. All right, so here's how you do it, by the way. You're in zone coverage, you got a deep blue. These fucking dudes will run the ball down by 14 in the fourth quarter. Regardless, I'm about eight off, I'm inside. You gotta backpedal for just a little bit and then flip your hips when they're within like a yard of you. Dude, they're actually still running the football. What the fuck is the play calling over here at UAB? You're down by 14. Well, I suppose they have thrown three interceptions. Maybe they don't trust the quarterback right now. So if that's the idea, then I get it. Oh my God. All right, I'm about eight yards off, I'm inside. Are they gonna pass on third and four? They are, and he's gonna take a shot. It's exactly what we want. Oh! Did he just moss the fuck out of me? And they call me a little baby and rock me to sleep? I mean, in my defense, I couldn't see the football, but dude, look at that. Oh my God, he like double jumped just to put his balls on my back. That's crazy. Second and six, gotta be ready for this to be a pass. Oh, it is. Ooh. Nice find. First and 10, do they keep passing or is this a handoff? Gotta be me, nice. Still didn't really make that tackle. I guess I technically did. Oh my God, they're five wide on the like one? Oh, it's a QB draw. He goes down, it's third and goal, wait a minute. Oh, take a shot, right? Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Just throw it right at me. Legacy game! Legacy game! It's the American Championship too. I mean, what better game? Tulane runs the clock out. Blazers go down. Dude, it really could have been five, bro. It really could have been five, but I was out of bounds. Oh my God, I... Dude, you're actually sucking dick. How on earth is he player of the game? He got 43 fucking carries. Of course he had 230 yards. And four inters I just broke a school record. Oh my God. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm not the player of the game. All right, let's look at our stats. 
Player stats, defensively, UAB. No, not UAB, I'm an idiot. Matthew Sky, 10 total tackles, one TFL, four interceptions. I was a dog today. I did get absolutely fucking dunked on by Corey Milliner. Okay, I got some nuts in the back on my back plate. But that's why we wear a back plate. We're American champions, baby. We're not making the college football playoffs, but we are American champions. And we did just put up a four interception game. That's exciting business. Jalen Milrow wins the 2025 Heisman. 44 touchdowns, three interceptions. I wonder how insane you'd have to play as a DB to win the Heisman. And now just imagine what we can do when we finally get this quickness up. I mean, we are baiting out interceptions in cover three guys getting behind us, but every once in a while, they're getting a little too deep. I'm getting toasted and I'm losing up the touchdown. I've only got 89 speed though. Imagine when I'm 99 speed, 99 excel. We are one skill point away from another upgrading quickness. I don't know what that's gonna take us to. I think it'll be like 91 speed, which by the way is a stupid system. The fact that you go 89, 91 to 99 is dumb, but whatever. We're close and we just concluded our sophomore year. Let's compare our stats. So we had one more solo tackle and seven more assisted. So overall, we did get more tackles, just not that many. Significantly less TFLs. I will say when I was on Rice against Army, I was so much better than I was against Navy this year. I got one and a half sacks, but the big one, and obviously the one we're looking for as a DB, is interceptions. Matthew Sky in this year with Tulane, nine interceptions, seven passes deflected, and two forced fumbles. Still have not gotten into the end zone, though. And I want to get in the end zone so bad. But that was a huge step up. That was a great great season. Now you gotta love this though. Best defensive back of the year goes to Devonta Smith. Yes, yes and no. It is Devonta Smith. It's not the one you're thinking of though. AJ Harris of Penn State and Kevin Winston of Penn State were the two next best. Keep in mind this award is for safeties and corners. I came in fourth though. And I and honestly I didn't play that well. I, I really struggled at the start. I'm really starting to get my footing and really figuring this out, which is so fun. But like, dude, fourth in a season that I wasn't that great, my stats aren't that great, I don't have abilities, I'm chilling. I really didn't like, uh, I didn't like that offense losing that game to Army. Four for 16 passing, that is ultra frustrating. Imagine a college football playoff run like that, I just can't do it. A lot of teams are interested though. A lot of teams are interested. I feel like low-key Boise State would be really fun. Oklahoma State, dude, Oklahoma State can't help but want me. They just want me so badly. Any five-star programs that I play at, oh my God. Well, sort of, they're interested, but I wouldn't even play. Although, like, look at Oregon. Every single one of those guys in Oregon's a senior. At Penn State, that dude's a senior, so he's out of there. Says I'm second string. Dude, all three of the DBs at USC are seniors. I feel like a four-star program is a realistic look for our junior year. Stanford does have good academics. Dude, TCU, the two guys in front of me at TCU are both seniors. I don't hate this. My Oklahoma, though. Oklahoma, so there's a senior in front of me. There's obviously a junior in front of me, and then... They've got the transfer portal. They really like me though. It's the same conversation we had at the start. Can I really go to a bum school like this? All right, boys, today's video is a heater. Transfer portal for junior year is up next. I'll see you then. Peace.